2019 has come to a wrap. A lot of people have New Year's resolution, a piece of paper, and that could be cool, but you know, if you're like me, sometimes you don't really like writing. And if you're also like me, I like to think to myself a lot and think a lot. So with that said, with 2020, I want you to reflect on this statement and ask yourself this statement, at least I tried. When you say that, at least I tried, what pops up to you in 2019? This question or statement, at least I tried, is powerful because it lets you question yourself on what you have been doing so far, on your life, your endeavors, your accomplishments. So as you reflect on at least I tried, whether that's good or bad, what did you learn from it? And what did you take away from it? I'll share a little story about mine, at least I tried in 2019. I did my first ever stand-up, stand-up comedy. I've never done that before. I've done speech competition, but that's totally different because this time I have to make people laugh. And I know for a fact that I am not that funny, just a little bit, but not enough. When I first wanted to do stand-up comedy, I was for sure, of course, like everyone else, nervous. What am I gonna do? because I have to come up with punchlines and deliverable. It's not just about storytelling, but I have to make the audience laugh and be funny. And who knows, maybe a little bit of acting. I spent one week, one week, writing down three different stories. After writing those three different stories, I would share it to colleagues and friends just to see if it's funny and what they think about it. And every single story was bad. It was not funny. I was using my mentality as a speaker and not as a comedian. And I really wanted to just give up. Like, I can't do comedy, what am I trying to do? But then I asked myself, do I want to just give up and have that what if question in my head? What if I did comedy? What if I did this? What if I did that? What if I did it earlier? What if I took comedy classes? I don't know, those questions would daunt me forever. And if you're like that too, that is a bad mindset. So then I asked myself and I said, I want to be able to say, at least I tried. Because if it went bad, it would have been a funny story to tell. If it went well, it still would have been a funny story to tell. So either way, it's a win-win situation. Finally, I had the courage to finally write up a comedic bit. And I did my first stand-up at To Be Extraordinary's open mic. And it went well. It went better than I expected. All my fears and negativity and the thoughts, I thought I was gonna blow it up, but it went pretty well. People were laughing. I hope they loved it. They were smiling. The kids were even laughing too. So I would take it as a good thing. Now I can finally say to myself, at least I tried. I got rid of the, what if I did it? What if I never did it? What I have ever do it? But would I do it again? Probably, maybe, maybe. It is very nerve wracking. So now ask yourself this statement. At least I tried. What comes up for you in 2019 Reflect on it, whether that's good or bad, grow from it. Because then you, at least now you know that you didn't give up, and you went through with it. On to 2020, hopefully all of you are doing great and have big plans, whether that's small or large or big. Oh, and if you want to check out my stand-up, I'll put the link below. Check it out, let me know your thoughts. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, Great, but hopefully you enjoy it and get some laughs out of it. Other than that, until next time.